Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel, Badass and Intuitive Tarot. Such an honor to be reading for you today. I hope you're doing well. I'm using a brand new deck called the Mermaid Tarot, and I'm absolutely loving the powerful energy it's bringing. Any information about booking a private reading or the link to the extended can all be found pinned at the top of the comments below. I am also now on TikTok at Badass and Intuitive Tarot, but I'll warn you, I'm a lot more sillier and quirkier on that platform. Ooh, the Page of Cups. Could be a love message coming in or someone texting the words, I miss you. We'll see. What do we have for Virgo, please, this week in love? Virgo. Now, love doesn't always have to be romantic. It could be in relation to a family member, um, a friend that you have a lot of love for who's going through a tough time right now, and you may have them on your mind. But I am setting my intention for this to be romantic, okay? Two more shuffles. One and two. Let's rock this deck for the vivacious Virgos. All right, what happened in your recent past, Virgo? The lovers could have been connecting with a Gemini, but not necessarily. In the recent past, you met someone that felt like a mirror image of yourself. You felt very connected, very pulled. Like this person was almost exactly like yourself, and you felt like you guys connected really quickly. Now, your current situation, what's going on? The Nine of Swords. Right now, you're losing a lot of sleep over this connection. The same connection that you felt so strongly pulled to is the same one that's causing you to lose a lot of sleep. Now, we can control our own emotions, so I think that was the wrong wording. But I am seeing some Virgos who are suffering from a lot of anxiety, especially at nighttime, in relation to this person. There's someone that you really have a strong connection with and there's something going on with you guys that's, you know, leaving you feeling very, very worried. Maybe you're fearing that this person is not wanting to be with you anymore or there's something else you're fearing that you're going to discover about this connection. Now, what's on your person's mind right now? The Five of Swords. You guys could have recently had a fight. The Five of Swords is a falling out. It's conflict. It's two people, you know, talking at each other but not really actively listening to what each other has to say. It's also mixed signals, mind games, one-upping each other, silent treatment, things like that. It's where nobody really walks away feeling like they won. One person might feel like they had the upper hand but nobody really walked away with anything settled so there's a feeling of lack, you know. And that's possibly why you're in that Nine of Swords energy. You may have had a recent falling out with someone that you love very, very much and who loves you. Now, how do they view you right now, Virgo? The Nine of Cups. They actually view you as being happy right now. Very content. You may have been the one that, you know, went no contact on this person and just focused on yourself because you felt like this person was bringing you a lot of conflict and you just don't want the stress in your life right now. So they may be seeing you just being happy on your own without realizing that what they see on the surface level may not be how you're truly feeling inside Virgo. They think that you're living your best life, but late at night you're, you're definitely feeling some sort of way about this connection because you cared about this person very much. All right, so they think you're, you're living your best life. So how are they feeling about you? King of Pentacles. All right, Taurus energy, but also your own in Capricorn. They feel like you are very stable. They feel like you are very um, grounded, reliable, dependable, and that you work hard for everything that you have. They definitely hold you in high regard, Virgo. This person respects you, so what happened between you guys? Now, what they want moving forward is the Page of Swords. Right now, they're just watching you from afar. All right, the Page of Swords is my Lurky Louie card, my Lurky Lily. So this person is definitely looking into what's going on with you. Now, it doesn't have to be a Starker card where this person's eyeballing your social media or anything like that. The Page of Swords is also a student, someone gathering more details, being very inquisitive, being very curious. Your person is wanting to see what's going on with you because I feel like this person is not done with this connection but they feel like you are done and checked out due to the falling out. So this might be a situation where a few days ago you guys may have had a heated argument and now you guys are just being quiet from each other. Now this is just a weekly check-in, okay? It doesn't have to be anything like grandiose. Now the Five of Swords is still a minor arcana. 
So it's definitely telling me that you have a strong bond with someone with the lover's card and you guys may have had a recent falling out and you decide to block this person or go no contact on this person or just tell them that you wanted some space. And they're viewing you as possibly posting pictures on social media with you smiling, hanging out with your girlfriends, hanging out with your guy friends, living your best life. Maybe you're uploading achievements from your job. Maybe you just posted a new puppy that you adopted. They're seeing you just not really hurting over this connection, but little do they know at night, you do think about this person because they meant the world to you, it, it seems. So they, they definitely are watching you. Whatever social media you got, they're on it. And if you don't have social media, they're thinking about you a lot with that page of swords. Could be a younger air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Now, how do you see them, Virgo? The moon. You see them as being very secretive. You, you see them as being um, someone that kept their feelings from you. Or you felt like they were a mystery. Capricorn got something similar to this, but Capricorn got this card in how do they feel um, section. And I do have Capricorn coming in with that King of Pentacles. Um, but you see them as being very secretive. They didn't open up to you. And I feel like that's what caused you so much pain. And you decided to pull back and just focus on yourself and focus on your own achievements. Now, how do you feel about them? The star. Now I accidentally turned my deck around. I don't do reversals. Now you feel about them as a star. You see them as someone that you wished for. You see them as everything that you've hoped for. All right? And you might also see them as healing. But with the star being in your feelings for them, you are really wanting something to happen. Could be an Aquarius. Now your possible outcome with this person, justice, Libra energy, karma being served, justice being served, truth being declared, getting what you deserve, whether that's something good or bad. The outcome is justice. Now the advice, five of wands, fight for something, even if it's a little uncomfortable. The Five of Wands is about drama and conflict and challenges. But challenges also ignite changes too. You gotta get a little uncomfortable to get something to work in your favor. So I feel like you might have to fight for, fight for what you believe in with this person. Stand up for yourself, let them know why you pulled away, why you did this, why you did that. So they can have a little better of an understanding about what's going on with you. Overall energy on the bottom, the Six of Wands. Oh, I love that. The fact that your advice is the Five of Wands and the overall NG is the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is victory after the battle. So with your overall NG being the Six of Wands, it tells me that whatever battle you're going to be walking in with this person, you're going to be coming out of it strong and feeling like you won a victory. Heavy Leo energy coming in. I may be picking up on some Virgos that are Leo Virgo Cuspies or you feel like you identify with Leo versus Virgo. All right. Well, let's clarify. Five of Swords on the bottom. So why is the Lover's card in the recent past for Virgo, please? Why is the Lover's... Oh, wow. Two of Cups. Eight of Cups, Knight of Wands. Wow. To have the Two of Cups clarify the Lovers, this is someone that's very important to you. And you felt an instant attraction for with that Knight of Wands. But you felt like you had to walk away from them, Eight of Cups, in order to find your happiness, Nine of Cups. This person wasn't fulfilling you emotionally. Maybe you felt like they were a player. Maybe you felt like they were inconsistent, very on and off with you. Or there was a fight that broke out and you guys just decided to just put a pause on the connection and just cool off. And now we're in your current energy, which is the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords again. Tossing and turning, stressing about this connection. I feel like this is a, a situation where two people had a, a, a recent fight and they miss each other. That's what I'm seeing here. I don't feel like this was a, a huge breakup. 
I could be wrong, but I'm still clarifying. But I feel like justice will be prevailed with the justice being in the outcome. I feel like two people just had a disagreement, a, a major disagreement, and you guys are like not talking to each other right now, and this person's watching you thinking that you're okay with not talking to them and that you're living your best life. Why is the Nine of Swords the current energy? Whoa, that one went flying out of my hand. The Hierophant, Taurus energy. You guys still want this commitment. But you guys are in limbo right now with the Hanged Man, Pisces energy. You guys are in limbo. You don't know what to do. There's no movement right now at all. Why is the Five of Swords what is on your person's mind? Why is the Five of Swords... And with this image of a penguin showing up, I just noticed it. This is a brand new deck. With the image of the penguin being here, you both looked at each other like you guys were each other's soulmates. Because don't penguins like mate once for life? I could be wrong. I need to watch my Discovery Channel again. <laughs> Why is the Five of Swords what's on your person's mind? The Five of Wands. They're, they're thinking about what happened between you guys and they want to reach out so badly with the Eight of Wands. The overall NG is the strongest. They're thinking about that fight you guys had. And they're feeling like they didn't win anything. They're like, okay, we, we had a fight, but nobody won. That's how they're feeling. Now, fives represent challenges, but they also represent change. Now we have five plus five is ten. Tens are completions for new beginnings. This person is really upset that you guys had that fight. They're angry about it. They're pissed off. And even if they felt like they won the argument, they don't feel like they won. Look at the blood on that person. This person feels like they lost more than they won. Even if they won the argument, they feel like they lost more because they lost their Virgo. And they want to reach out to you. They're like, I want to talk to Virgo. I'm sick of this arguing. I'm sick of this petty bullshit that we went through. Why can't we just talk? This person wants to talk to you. They're heartbroken, three of swords. For some of you, you could have discovered a third party, but I'm not going to go to that because I don't see it in the reading. I just don't see it. I mean, you know your situation more if there was a third party. I just don't personally see that there was a third party involved. I feel like there was just two people who are really in love with each other and things got a little out of hand with an argument or a disagreement and you guys are not talking right now. That's what I'm seeing anyways. You know your story better. Alright, so why is the Nine of Cups how they view you? Why is the Nine of Cups how this person views Virgo? They view you as the Nine of Cups because of the Six of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. They see you planning a, another new beginning. That's in their head anyways. They're seeing you restoring balance in your life and they might be feeling like you're looking at other opportunities and planning it, planning it in advance. Because the Knight of Pentacles is your energy and it's also the energy of being very systematic, very methodical, planning out you know, a new route. It's like it's like when you look at your GPS and you miss your exit and Surrey starts, you know, rerouting. That little little loading icon that says rerouting, that's how they're viewing you. Like you're rerouting your new destination. You're like, er, I guess that's not working out with this person. Let me reroute my uh, destination to see where I'm going to hand this offer to next. All right? They see you doing that, regaining balance, recalibrating your life. And they feel like you're having your best life with that Nine of Cups. But you are still suffering with that Nine of Swords energy because this person meant something to you. But you you don't show it, Virgo, with the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is your energy. You're not showing this person that you're suffering. You're doing it with grace. You look beautiful or handsome or vibrant. You're not letting people see how much you're hurting inside. You're a strong person, Virgo, and you're not going to let anyone see your weakness. So you keep it for yourself late at night. And now I have the King and Queen of Pentacles. We have a true pair, folks. How they feel about you is the King of Pentacles. So why is the King of Pentacles how this person feels about Virgo? For some of you guys, you could have been married to this person and you guys had a spat. Not to, you know, make it sound so lightly like a spat. This, this clearly hurt you guys' feelings. Why is the King of Pentacles how they feel about Virgo? Some of you guys can be business owners and focusing on your money right now. Six of Swords. They see that you moved on from that conflict. 
some of you guys may hit, have even moved because what's on their mind is the five of swords and the six of swords is coming out of the five of swords which is this conflict right here that little cat fight they they feel like you just went and jumped ship and you did it with the eye of the tiger you're like I don't I don't want this bullshit justice card you put justice in your own hands and you felt like this person had to suffer the consequences to their actions whatever those actions were Libra energy and now we have we have justice as the outcome heavy Libra coming in now why is the page of swords what they want with this connection moving forward why is the page of swords what this person wants with the connection moving forward whoa that's too many cards but I'll take them the stars the overall energy they want healing they want to fix something and the star is how you're feeling looking like you want to fix it too all right trying to find their strength Leo and the three cards that came out six of wands four pentacles and the ten of cups oh wow remember how the overall energy is the six of wands victory after the battle oh and look ten of swords is right underneath that so what came out is the six of wands they want to find a way to to gain some success after the battle they don't want to let go of this relationship for pentacles ten of cups they don't want to let go of you they're trying to figure out how to um get you to reroute your gps back to them i don't mean to laugh but it, it's funny how um, i keep on getting like a reference to the gps some of you guys may like use the gps like religiously even if you already know how to get someplace you like obsessively use it just so that you already you always know your eta or you know exactly which route to take if you run into like a construction site that, that says detour i'm like seeing a virgo like really meticulous about keeping the gps on Anywho, that was just a little side note. Now, why is the moon how Virgo sees them? Why is the moon how Virgo sees them? Pisces energy, but also Cancer. The Ace of Pentacles. You see them as secretive, but you still see them as someone you could have a new beginning with, and you're waiting on something from them with the Three of Wands. Aries energy. This fight could have taken place in Aries season. You're still waiting on something, because at, at the root of it, this person still makes you happy with the Sun card. Leo energy. And you want to work on the partnership, Three of Pentacles. So why is the star how you feel about them? Why is the star how you feel about them? I think I accidentally said see them earlier when I was talking about the star. But it's it's in your field position. Why is the star how you feel about this person? The Empress. You feel like they are loving and nurturing. Taurus Libra energy. It's like... You know how loving this person is, but you guys had a falling out. And I feel like you both are just cooling off and doing a lot of soul searching right now. And it looks like you guys are going to restore something here. Because in the recent past, we had the Lovers Two of Cups. That is so much freaking love that you could have with someone. That is like strong soulmate energy too. To have the Lovers by itself is beautiful. The Two of Cups by itself, it's beautiful. To have them clarify each other, it's even more beautiful. This is a strong connection. This is not some sort of, you know, random person in your life. They mean something to you. And there's the Wheel of Fortune. D divine timing. Something playing out for you and working out in your favor with the Wheel of Fortune. And it's connecting to how you feel about this person. You feel like this person was destined in your life. You feel like this person was fated to be in your life. And that you don't want it to end like this. Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Normally, the Nine of Pentacles shows a person smiling, surrounding all of their abundance. But, it, but in this deck, the cat looks lonely being alone. Like, yeah, I got everything I want except for my person. And this is your energy. So why is justice the outcome? Whoa. The Hermit and the Four of Swords. All right. After some time apart with the Four of Swords to rest... And recover with the four of swords and do a lot of inner work a lot of soul searching with the hermit virgo energy this there's going to be something that happens between you guys where you guys are going to balance the scales and restore something and that's why the six of wands is the overall energy victory after the battle and the battle underneath that is the ten of swords some sort of betrayal getting victory after some sort of ending some sort of betrayal all right why is the six of wands the overall energy for virgo's reading 
I'm getting heavy uh, Leo Virgo vibes. The star, healing. Look at that. <gasps> and the judgment card. The judgment is all about reconciliations. It's all about renewals, a death or a rebirth. You guys are going to be healing this if you want to. All right. Victory after the battle. You don't have to reconcile with someone if you don't want to, Virgo. But if this is someone that you truly, truly love and you know deep down that they truly, truly love you too and this is just a argument that got out of hand, then it's worth saving. It can be saved. But if this is someone that hurt you repeatedly and cheated and lied and deceived you, you know what to do. Follow your heart. Okay? But I'm strongly picking up on two people that really cared about each other, really love each other, and who are both hurting right now due to the lack of communication and due to the emotional distance that you guys are sharing with each other. This hurt you both. So I feel like there's going to be a talk that you guys need to have, whether it's to just get closure and go in your own ways or to talk and fix this. It's up to you guys. All right. So I hope this helps. I got heavy Libra, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces in this reading. But it could be anybody. It's not about the zodiac sign. It's all about the energy that they're embodying. Oh, and Aquarius. If this resonates, I'll get extra nosy in the extended. But this is where I leave you. Please hit like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. Take care.